Today we're going to demonstrate a new virtual reality product. Virtual reality has been used in many industries such as the military for decades due to its ability to allow training in environments that aren't feasible for live training due to safety, cost, or time constraints. Virtual reality used to be primarily a computer-generated simulation of three-dimensional environments in which people could interact, usually with a head-mounted display and a handheld device. The difference with our VR tool is that our images are of real people in the training simulation. Our tool also uses a head-mounted display and a handheld control to make selections on the screen. As you can see, I am pointing to the screen, and the red dot that you can see on the screen is how to make menu selections, and also how decisions are made in real time during a simulation. The product we're about to demonstrate is to be used for training better decision making within a football play. As you can see on the screen, we have three different options, offensive, defensive, and special teams. Under each of the options, there are multiple plays that can be practiced for many different positions. For this demonstration, we are going to look at an example of our training product from a quarterback's perspective. Let's step into our quarterback's decision trainer. We will now step into one of our developed play packages. Each play package consists of a series of plays geared towards simulating and training a specific cognitive skill needed for the quarterback on the field. We will select Offensive Package 1 for this demonstration. Here in this play package, there, the play is about to run a virtual reality is indicated by receiver roots on the screen. Underneath the chalkboard, you can see the current situation that the play is being executed in. Now we will know the play and situation we are ready to step into the virtual reality simulation. Here I am in my virtual reality environment. I can see my offensive line in front. I see my receivers to the right. I see my receivers out to the left, my running back to the left, and my coaches behind me. This video is fully instrumented, so when I make my decision with my handheld controller about who to throw the ball to as the quarterback, I will get instant feedback whether correct or incorrect. So here we go. The countdown timer is started. I'm doing my pre-snap read looking at the defense. The ball is ready to come out. I've chosen to throw the ball to the left receiver. I depress the button on the handheld device and I get instant visual feedback that indicates an incorrect decision. This is the teachable moment. The coach has built in the ability to tell the player who he wants him to throw the ball to against this particular defense, its coverage, in the current situation. In this situation, the coach wants the quarterback to throw the ball to the receiver in the far right flat. The quarterback can watch the teachable moment as many times as he wants to make sure he understands where the coach wants the play to be run. Once I am ready, I close out the teachable moment. So let's try the play again. I do the pre-snap reads to identify the defensive coverage. The ball comes out and I choose to throw the ball to the receiver in the right flat and I get instant feedback indicating a correct response. I am now moved virtually back into the locker room to get ready for the next play in the package. Looking over to the chalkboard on my left, I can see information and statistics from the play I just ran. For the previous play, I'm able to see the number of plays in the sequence, the time it took me to make the decisions on which receiver to throw the ball to, and the score showing how accurate my decision was. This pattern of practicing the plays, seeing the correct or incorrect responses, and moving to the next play continues through the entire play package. This demonstration was driven by a PC. We are also delivering the same experience on smartphones that will snap into a headset. 